Hello ladies! I'm gonna give you a second to hop on here. Um, I'm excited to see who makes it live and who watches the replay. If you are seeing this live, if you can give a heart, and then if you are watching the replay, give me a thumbs up and that way I know who was here when, because sometimes these things don't tell me who is on currently. But I have notes. You can't see them. There are things written on there to try to keep me on track so that this is not too long as I know your time is important and my time is as well. So I want to respect that. So I'm going to jump right in even though I'm not sure if anyone's here yet. So that's okay. You can go back and rewatch the beginning if you miss it. So here is a little of my story. I am the third of six children. I grew up in a home where my mom was like a constant yo-yo dieter. She was always doing all these crazy diets and sometimes she would be going to the gym and sometimes she would be working out. Sometimes she would just focus on absolutely no carbs and this and that and whatever. So that's what I grew up like seeing normal. Um, throughout, probably from about the age of 10, 11 up, I struggled with my body image. I was a little bit heavier than maybe some of my siblings. I carried that baby fat weight a little bit longer and that made me really self-conscious and I started picking up some really bad eating habits. Um, I would like go three days without eating just to show that I could or then I would like, I don't know, I did all these crazy things. It was not healthy, it was not good, but I didn't really know of a healthy way to do these things. So that was kind of my like high school years. When I went to college, I went to a really small Bible college and I played soccer. And for the first time I ever, I like felt confident in my own skin because I was going to practice every day for two hours a day. I could eat whatever I wanted and I looked good and I felt good. Um, and then after that, I kind of um, tried to maintain running and whatnot. When I got married when I was 25, I felt fabulous on my wedding day. I worked really hard to be running and doing different things and I felt great and beautiful, which every bride dreams of. Um, but then two years into my marriage, I had gained 10 pounds, which might not seem like a lot, but it was enough that I did not feel comfortable in my own skin anymore. Um, my clothes were fitting tight. I just didn't feel confident. I felt sluggish and yucky. So 2014, um, one of my New Year's resolutions was to work on my health, um, to lose the 10 pounds, to be a healthier version of me. I spent the first six months of the year wasting my time. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I'm very cheap. I didn't want to invest in anything. I knew I wouldn't go to a gym. I'm just not, personally, I'm just not a gym person. I don't know how to use the equipment. I feel self-conscious. I don't want to make the effort to have to drive there and all of that. So that wasn't going to work. So for six months, I spent um, going on YouTube, trying to find videos. I um, tried to eat healthy I was working um, like two hours away and so I would go down on Sunday nights and come home on Wednesday morning and they put me up in a hotel so I would like, I'd use the little gym there and do the elliptical while I watched some TV show and I would swim and I thought that that was good exercise but I was not losing any of the weight and it was really frustrating because I was putting in the effort but I just did not have the right tools, support system or clue on what I was doing. So fast forward to June of 2014 and I saw a friend of mine from college and high school um, post about a workout program called Pio. And it's like a mixture of Pilates and yoga and it's by this company Beachbody. I've seen, I used to work overnight shifts and so I'd watch TV at night and all the infomercials would be for this Beachbody company and I'd be like, oh, this is so annoying. Like they need to put good television on at night. Um, and my husband had done Insanity, so I was familiar with Beachbody in the sense that I knew that they did at-home workout programs, but my knowledge of them was like P90X, Insanity, and I'm like, I can't do those. Like, that's crazy. Um, so then I see my friend post about Pio, and it looks much more my pace. And so I finally was like, you know what? I'm willing to invest a little money because I've spent six months not seeing the scale budge and this is frustrating so i like googled i didn't know about the whole coaching thing or any of that so i googled pio couldn't find it anywhere so finally i messaged my friend and was like so what's the deal with this pio prog program i'm interested but i can't find it and she said um, actually you can order it through me i'm a coach i was like oh that's cool so i ordered it through her it had just come out that's why you couldn't find it anywhere else yet it was only available through coaches and um I bought it. I started it July 1st. 
17 days into it, I was seeing results that I hadn't seen in six months prior. I was seeing muscle. I was seeing weight loss. I was seeing inches lost. I was seeing myself eating healthier and actually knowing what eating healthier was. And so I messaged my friend and said, I think I want to be a coach because I want to tell everybody about this. At that time, it wasn't a, I want to make money. Um, it was just, I want this to be my lifestyle. I love this. I'm passionate about this. I want to share it with everyone. So it only makes sense that I would sign up as a coach so that I can stay accountable and help other people. So that's what I did. July 17th, 2014, I became a coach. Within about a month, I recognized the potential in this business if I wanted to work towards it, um, that the income is limitless. Like it all depends on how much I wanted to work. Um, and I said I was going all in at that point, but I really did not put in the, the effort. Um, that's one of Beachbody's little income disclaimers is about your effort. Like you do have to put it in. It's not a get rich quick scheme. You do have to work. And my first year, I kind of played in it. I invited some people. I did okay, um, but I didn't grow a team or anything. It was more of just ongoing accountability for myself and covering my own products. Then about nine months into the business, my um, like upline team hosted a retreat in Florida. And I was like, Jake, I think I need to go to this. That's my husband, by the way. Um, and he said, okay, if you want to go, that's fine. So I flew to Florida, met up with my friend who is my coach. Um, I hadn't seen her in 10 years and went to this conference and just was like, wow, like the friendships that I made, um, you know, I'd known all these girls online and now I was getting to meet them in person. And that was huge for me. At that time, I felt like I didn't have a lot of friends. I worked overnight shifts. I was just in a weird spot. A lot of people that were my age were having children. We had been trying to, but hadn't conceived yet. And so I just kind of felt in an awkward space. So to meet these people who were like-minded, who loved these products too, was really awesome. And then, so I started kind of working the business a little bit more because I was like, wow, this could be my ticket that if we are blessed with children someday, I might actually be able to stay home with them because financially on one income, I could not do that. So I started building a business and in July of 2015, I went to my first national conference with Beachbody and my business kind of blew up from there. I went from just a, like a emerald coach, which you'll learn all of these terms down the road, but that's just having two coaches under you to being a diamond, which is having at least eight coaches under you and two of them being emeralds in like a month and a half so um, I just really loved what I did was passionate and decided this is gonna be my career I'm done the overnights I'm done all of that so um, that's where I was then since then um, I have not had a job outside of Beachbody like full-time job since December of 2014 Yes, I've done a few part-time jobs here and there just for fun um, and whatnot, but I have not had to work outside of my home since then, which is really awesome. I uh, grew up in New England. My husband and I now live in Hawaii, and because of being a Beachbody coach, I was able to just take that with me and continue to grow it, which is really cool. We were blessed with our first son, Toby, in June of 2016, and then I am expecting baby number two in April of this year, so like Two months from today is my due date, which is crazy. But um, so I love, love, love what I do. It's um, the money that I make now pays our bills. It allows me to stay home with my son. Um, the way it's growing, it's going to be able to allow us to travel more, to um, put our kids in activities and things that we want to. If you can imagine, life in Hawaii is not cheap. Um, so I'm really thankful for this income and the fact that I can just grow it to be whatever I want it to be. So that's kind of my personal story. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be sharing some other, tomorrow and Tuesday I'll be sharing some other stories. Um, so I wanted to give you the rundown of what we will be sharing in this group the next two days so you kind of have an idea of what's coming. And if you have any questions about anything specific you want to know, you can let me know ahead of time and then um, I'll try to address them when I come live each day. So tomorrow I'm going to be sharing some coach trans physical transformation stories um, of people that I know and um, talking about how our results are like our number one thing with the company. That's like how you are the most successful is by being proof that the products work. What a day in the life of being a coach is like. What is it we actually do? 
Um, and then also common questions or concerns people have when they're joining things like, is this a pyramid scheme or I'm not a salesperson or whatever it is. Um, so if you actually, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to post it below um, so that I can specifically address that tomorrow. Um, I have some like common ones that I'll do, but if there's anything that you're like, I'm not sure about this because such and such, feel free to post it below and I will address that. Um, and then on Tuesday, I'm going to be sharing some coach success stories as far as the income potential um, and like how they transform their family from this to this because of this opportunity, um, how we earn money, what the commission plan is, what to expect as far as like once you join, what the process is, and um, also talk about the trips that you can earn, recognition, residual income, and all of the perks of being a coach. Um, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. Like I said, I wanted to keep this short so that um, you all have a chance to watch this if you weren't live because it looks like only a couple of you made it live and that's okay. Um, so here is my first challenge to you. Once you've watched this video, which hopefully you get to tonight, but if not tomorrow, I want you to go on your Facebook wall or your Instagram, whatever you use the most, and post something inspirational. It can just be like a picture you find on Google with like a cool quote that you're like, wow, that's really cool. You can like write about it, why it stands out to you, why it's inspirational to you, or you can just share the picture. Either is fine. And then if you do that, snap a photo, like screenshot it, and post it below, and that will go towards um, the prize at the end of the week for participation. So happy Sunday nights. I hope you guys are having a wonderful last day of the weekend and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.